There's no purpose of that song. Hello, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name is Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. I am 23 years old for only a couple more weeks, guys. I turned 24 soon. I cannot remember for the life of me, the I think it's a Blink-182 song. Nobody likes you when you're 23. I don't remember the melody for that, but that's that's the song that's been gonna be playing in my head a lot in the next couple of weeks. Today, I'm gonna be writing out my budget here for you guys for the following week that's coming up. Still, um, my first week of training of my new job went great. I don't know exactly which week coming up I'm gonna be getting paid. I don't know if it's gonna be like the end of this week, the past two weeks, or if it's gonna be like next week, or three weeks or something. I don't, I don't know. I need to ask that question. But so far, it's been great. I've been enjoying it. I've been learning a lot of new things. It's been uh, different than the other jobs that I've had. I'm now working like a desk job every day instead of multiple food service jobs every day. It's, it's different. <laughs> but new things are exciting, so yay. As you guys know, the past couple unemployment payments that I had gotten, I put into my savings account so that way I'm not touching it and it's going to be used for its bills and everything or, you know, emergencies, whatever. Uh, right now, since I haven't gotten a paycheck, my checking account is basically down to $70 at this point from paying bills and everything. So I'm going to be transferring money from my savings account into my checking account to pay for these bills that are coming up that you're about to see me write down. Makes sense, right? Okay, yes. So without further ado, grab for yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. You already know iced coffee. And we're gonna get right into the video. Okay, so getting right into everything here, we have my bullet journal that you guys know that I love. It's this dingbats journal here, and oh my goodness, I forgot to take off the one piece off of my thumb. That's great. Anyways, <laughs> and then the pen that you guys know that I love, we all love it. It's this Pilot G 2.05. Yes, okay. So here we go, the spread that I have it. It's gonna be my weekly to do's here on the left and then my cash envelopes budget, <laughs> budget breakdown here on the right. So we'll just zoom in so you guys can see what I'm writing. Okay, so the countdown of the weeks coming up of me just being like, I know I'm getting closer and closer to being able to actually do cash envelope stuffing again. Oh, like I can feel it coming. I know it's coming. I'm really excited about it. Just still, it's ha ha no paychecks in yet, but it's coming you guys, be pumped. So right now this is money that I'm gonna have to transfer from my savings account into my checking account to pay for these bills coming up. Brian and I are working on signing him up to be an account holder onto my account and then we're just gonna have all the bills come out of my USAA account, my checking account that I have right now. Going through a bunch of banks trying to figure out what was gonna be best for us and we figured just having him be with my USAA account was gonna be the best thing. So we're working on getting that to happen so far. He's not like officially an account holder. I'm not sure exactly what step it is that we're missing, but I'm working on figuring that out. But anyways, getting into this. So Navient, that is my school loan. And so that is $308. This is my expensive week <laughs> coming up in terms of bills. And now my car loan, which is $427. And then Blue Shield is my dental, vision, health account, what's it called, health insurance <laughs> that I have, and that one is just $40. I was talking to Brian, I think I've, I've talked to you guys about it too, when this paycheck comes in I'm going to try after doing the whole budget breakdown, hopefully I will be able to go and get my vision checked so that way I can actually use this insurance um, and get new glasses because I've had these glasses for what is now seven years. I've had these glasses since 2013. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised I can see anything at this point. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh goodness. Let's not tell people I'm blind. I tell them that all the time. Anyways. So the total for all of this, all of these bills coming up, everything that I need to transfer into my checking account is going to be $775 for my bills coming up. So I'm going to do a little star asterisk that I used to have to do all the time before. Um, we're gonna put transfer from savings. 
nice. Okay, and then moving on to our weekly spending. Still doing pretty good. $70, $70 for gas. I think that's still going to be doing okay up, up until I have um, Brian as an account holder for my account. It is a bit more tricky for me to be able to like fully be on top of and tracking our gas, especially since I've only had one week of training so far. So just to be able to see and more accurate accounts for how much we're spending on gas, I'm not sure just yet, but I am tracking our spending. Just got to get a couple more weeks <laughs> under the belt for me to know for sure how much we're spending on gas per week. But food still at 120. We've been doing really good with meal prepping and not eating out. Um, and then toiletries is just going to be $10 per use. So weekly spending is going to be 200. Yeah, that's going to do that for my weekly spending and my transfer over from right now. These next couple of weeks are going to be really interesting once we get more consistent paychecks coming in or I at least get a paycheck coming in. Um, and then we have Ryan being an account holder so I can actually budget all from one account which will be really, really nice. We're going to be seeing a bit of a change over here beyond just me stuffing cash envelopes again because now we have Brian's like spending money that I'm going to have to account for and just other like knickknacks and everything. Um, I have been tracking my spending, my weekly spending over on my Patreon if you guys want to go and check that out. So that way hopefully I'll be able to adjust my budget to be a bit more accurate. Everything has mostly been based off of assumptions <laughs> and um, loosely what our budget has been like the past couple of months, but that's obviously been really different from how it's going to be since we weren't doing anything, <laughs> you know? Um, I just noticed my bees don't have wings. Oh, they're just, they're, they're just throwing themselves around with no wings. It's fine. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, well that's gonna do that. For that, easy peas, lemon squeeze. Okay, so that's gonna do it for my budget breakdown here for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed. One thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the fact that I, this month, got a retirement account. Yay, it's exciting things. I signed up for a Roth IRA, so that's gonna be part of my budget coming up. That's one of the things I'm gonna have to like readjust with my budget. Brian does have a retirement account. He hasn't been putting money into it. I think his parents set it up for him a while ago so I'm not even sure how much money is in it if there's any money in it at all <laughs> but like I said I signed up for a Roth IRA account I went through USAA to be able to get that from my understanding of me choosing a Roth IRA and not just a regular IRA um, this is my understanding of it I could be like miss quoting exactly what it's about so like don't just take my word for it if you're gonna go out just you know do research but my understanding is that I chose the Roth IRA because I believe that by the time I retire I'm gonna be in a higher tax bracket essentially I'm gonna be making more money than I am making now which is a safe assumption um, since I'm 23 and have a like an average paying job my safe assumption is that by the time I retire I'm gonna be making more than I am right now <laughs> no I'm not in like my main career that's going to be making me like a bunch of money, you know, I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm going to be like better off than I am now by the time I retire. So with that, with my Roth IRA, I'm not going to be getting taxed on my retirement money once I retire. I'm going to be able to get the money. There's more research that I need to make to make sure that I have a fully solid understanding of it. But this is like my baseline understanding of it. So if you have really solid understanding, feel free to educate me and other people in the comments about retirement accounts. I just know that I needed to start it as soon as possible. I definitely, definitely wanted to get it started basically like right after Brian and I got married. But without any income, it was kind of difficult. But now I feel more confident and more like secure and putting away a little bit of money every month. Might not be a lot right now. It probably will be 50 or less at the moment, but it's something, something better than nothing. That's my whole deal with a retirement account. Little two cents right there. I wanted to just like let you guys know, I'm doing some big girl stuff. <laughs> Real excited. Other than that, Brian and I are still working on trying to get him to become an account holder. I don't know, if you work for USAA, tell me what I'm missing. <laughs> like, I feel like I've fulfilled all the steps. We might just be waiting for some like authentication thing to happen. Uh, we literally tried, like started the process yesterday, so it could take a while. Yes, exciting things. I do need to ask about when I'm getting paid. 
which day. I know it's bi-weekly, but like when exactly that's happening. So good things on the horizon. Yay. Happy things. I've got a, I got a Hawaiian shirt that I got from a thrift store, so happy moods. <laughs> and to share in some of the joyous moods, here's today's pet of the week. Ching! Look at this fluffy little gray cloud of a kitty. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You just want to just snuggle in and sleep. It's like a little pillow. Look at the way that they just hug their tail. Oh my goodness. You like you think of dogs going after their tails a lot, but you don't realize that cats love their tails too. And oh my goodness, the way that they're just hugging their own tail. It's like it's a little binky, a little pacifier, a little sleeping toy, safety blanket. It's their happy space. Oh my goodness. If you want to see your pet featured in next week's video, be sure to DM me pictures over on Instagram. If you've already sent me pictures, send me more. I love seeing everyone's faces. If your pet's already been here on the screen, you can try to go again, you know? Like, it just makes me so happy. It brings me so much joy when I open my Instagram and then I see, like, somebody sent me their dog, you know? Just tell your, tell your dog I said hi. No, get, come on, give him the screen. Hi. I hope you've been a good good boy, good girl, the past week. I know you have been. You've been the best. Your owner appreciates you. Your human loves you. And I love you too. If you guys liked the video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more of my views since we try to conquer the human race, be sure to subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media, at Quinn Kalen. We could chat. Damn me, or we could become best friends. I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I don't know how to get out of the screen. Yes. <laughs>